Hello everyone, so today we're going to be setting up a brand new Aventon Cinch bike. And then, so yeah, this is the folding e-bike that they carry. And then, so you can see on this, and then there's even a QR code for the assembly as well, but this is the red one. And so it comes in this box, so we start by opening it. Alright, so this is how the bike arrives. And it is covered with a bunch of packaging, keep it safe while shipping. And then these two boxes up here, the smaller box is the charger, and then the bigger box is the kit that has extra accessories, and also the owner's manual and a few things like that. And yeah, so we start by pretty much removing a bunch of the extra foam, taking out the kit and the charger, and starting to basically free it from the packaging. All right, so I took all the excess packaging off. Um, I took the plastic off the seat. Uh, so basically next, we gotta start taking, well, cutting the zip ties and taking off, uh, I'll start with the foam on the handlebar. And then, so I'll start there. And the cinch is by far the easiest of all the Aventon bikes to build from the box because you don't really need to do much building. You mostly just fold it. The other ones, you do have to do some putting together but this one is actually fairly easy and you can easily. All right, so I got all the zip ties and packaging off the handlebar. So then we literally just pick it up and then it'll seat itself right where it's supposed to be. And then you literally just push this flap down and it is now locked. Okay, next I just took the foam off the pedals and then we got to cut this zip tie to free the latch that actually seals the bike once you fold it. And then after that, we cut the zip tie that is holding the two sides together currently. And then we can get to the folding after that, right after that. All right, I disconnected the two sides and I freed the latch. And now we gotta basically fold it together. It's gonna be a little challenging with one hand, but we'll give it a shot. And then you kinda just hold stable one side and then keep pushing the other side. And one thing you wanna make sure of is down here, make sure the wires that they are safe to go in both uh, holes so that way they don't get um, folded in with the metal because that could damage the wires and that would be a problem. All right, we got it together. So now uh, all we gotta do is push this latch down and that will lock in the two sides. All right, next we'll put the kickstand down so that way it can stand on its own. Then we gotta take off these two side pieces. And they do have these little clips which sometimes do rip off and get stuck in there. And then you gotta use some kind of pliers to basically twist them out. Not super difficult if that happens. And so, perfect, this came right out. Then, you can unfold the pedals. And then I also gotta cut the zip tie right here as well to free this one. And then after that, we're mostly done. We just gotta check a few things. And also I'll take off the stickers on the pedals as well. All right, we got our cinch together and it is all set up. Now you basically just wanna check it over because also you have a one year warranty on every single part. And then, so first thing, definitely make sure that it turns on. So you get the power buttons right here. So you just hold it down and then the screen should turn on. There we go. And there we got our screen with a battery life. Usually comes right around 40% when you get out of the box. And then you have the odometer and everything else. And which we can definitely go over the features of the screen in a different video. And then also we can go over in a future video like which problems to check for to make sure it's all good right out of the box. And that will be all for today. Enjoy your new cinch.